Hey there, YouTube. This is Lucifer Lake. We're going to come back at you with another video. Alright, so people have seen me do videos in the past where I review certain satanic organizations and whatnot. And oftentimes, I hate to say it, I'm pretty harsh on them. Um, I I'm very unforgiving in what my credentials are for an organization to truly be considered a real satanic organization. However, I state that almost all of them legitimately are. They actually do have the credentials to be a legit satanic organization, um, except for one, and that being Satanic Temple. Well, I decided to flip it on its ear for once and talk about an organization that not only is legitimately satanic, but doesn't really hold the same credentials as the rest of them, nor does it even claim to be satanic. Now, um, as everybody knows, I maintain a vast library of the occult and uh, of different stuff, including one of my favorite authors, Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Now, everybody knows if they've been involved in literature and reading all that stuff. They should be at least moderately familiar with Howard Phillips Lovecraft's uh, works, be it in movies, video games, or uh, written literature. Uh, people have written all sorts of stuff uh, about it, added to his Cthulhu mythos, and created our, you know, role-playing games and whatnot. But one of them was none other than the founder of Satanism, Anton LaVey. And without even meaning to, he sort of created a secondary style of Satanism called Cthulianism, or Cthulianism. I can't pronounce that second one. I prefer the term Cthulianism. It makes more sense to me. But then again, nothing in the Cthulhu mythos is really meant to make sense. This has um, spawned a whole wide uh, subgenre of Satanism that even resulted in um, an organization at one point being founded by Avenger Satanus, who is a legitimate Satanist. He's still around, does comic books. Uh, I recently featured two of his books on my channel called Cthulhu Cult and Libereo. These were his religious documents for um, his version of Satanism called Cult of Cthulhu. Um, even Anton LaVey supposedly had, and this is mentioned in Michael Aquino's book, this uh, 50th anniversary uh, version of the, uh, or revision, as I should say, uh, of the Satanic Bible, he mentions that Anton LaVey apparently had a copy of the most infamous occult book mentioned in um, Lovecraft's lore, the Necronomicon. Uh, this is a copy of the Simon Necronomicon, which is definitely not related to H.P. Lovecraft um, in anything more than just cursory stuff. Um, but apparently, Anton LaVey, according to Michael Aquino, owned a copy of the Al Hazif the uh, Arabic version of the Necronomicon. And we all know that the writings of H.P. Lovecraft influenced uh, Anton LaVey in his creation of Satanism because in the story The Haunter of the Dark, it talks about an object called the trapezoidohedron. And it's this very concept that inspired Anton LaVey to create the Order of the Trapezoid. Um, and later on, with me, my personal symbol that I, my personal Baphomet symbol, the Trapezoid Baphomet, or Trap Bap, that I have above my altar that has been featured in several of my videos. Anton LaVey also wrote two actual rituals concerning uh, Lovecraftian myth lore. The um, rituals being uh, found in the Metaphysics of Lovecraft segment of the Satanic Rituals, 
are the Ceremony of the Nine Angles, um, which later on I believe had some sort of influence into creating the Order of the Nine Angles, which we all know is another satanic organization that is a bit dodgy, um, more than a bit dodgy. They've done some pretty horrendous things. Um, and the other one is the Call of Cthulhu ritual, which is literally based uh, off of one of Lovecraft's more famous literary works. So now that we've given an entire background to this, I want to introduce people to a newer organization that I just stumbled across the other day. And I've been reading through their website and I have been totally fascinated by them. They do not call themselves Satanists, not even in the slightest sense, um, yet they are a subcategory of Satanism. Um, they, they definitely do not claim anything of that nature, but uh, that is what they do fall into because of all the connections to actual Satanism that Cthulhuanism has. This is a Cthulian organization. It, it takes itself very seriously. It is a religious organization, and I will be throwing a link to them. And they call themselves the official cult of Cthulhu, uh, or the real Cthul cult of Cthulhu. And they are very interesting. They are founded by an individual called Winter. And I don't know anything about this Winter person, Excuse me. Um, I've never heard of him before, um, and that's perfectly fine. Um, he has written, apparently, two books, uh, The Bible of Cthulhu by Winter, which I have every intention on buying, <laughs> and a secondary book, which is, hang on here, I actually do have their website up right now. Um, their secondary book is the Dreamlands Journal. This individual has based this whole his whole organization and his whole um, his whole concept literally on the very writings of H. P. Lovecraft. He bypasses any connections to Satanism or anything like that. He I'm. I don't know if he had any sort of contact with Venture Satanus or anything, but he has written a couple books, and um, from the looks of them, I'm not, I'm not joking, literally from the looks of these books, because um, he actually shows pages of them on his website in various areas, and including page numbers. Oh, the Bible of Cthulhu is a very substantial book from the looks of it, ranging over 200 pages. So the man has something to say. Um, his website is very well thought out. And one of the things that I really like about this group and his approach to it is he flat out says that there are two different styles of Cthulhuanism, much as there are two different styles of Satanism. You have your atheistics and your theistics, or as he likes to call them, um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, let me see here. Uh, doo -doo. I have to take a look through here and dig up the information. second. Ah, here we go. He has two different styles. The atheistics, or pantheism, as he calls it, uh, believes that Cthulhu's not real, he's just an archetypal metaphor. And then the deism, where they literally believe that Cthulhu is real. Um, and then he flat out says, and I want to show people this on their website. I don't know if you guys can see this. But this is the page, and it, it literally says there is no discord between the two sects. I like that. That is good. 
That is good. We need something like that in Satanism. As everybody knows, I've been working on a my own, starting up my own organization. And I've been building the website. It's going slower than I'd like it to. Um, this guy is using literally the same platform I am, a Wix uh, platform. And he's got a beautiful website up. I love what he's done with it. I love the work he has put into it. Um, it is clean, it is crisp, it is professional looking, and what I love more so is his approach, saying that both the atheistic, or in this case the pantheism and the deism, the atheistic and the theistic, can work hand in hand. This uh, is literally something that I was saying back when I wrote the, my original Satanic Testament, that the atheistic and the theistic do not need to be clashing the way that they do in Satanism. Um, and they can actually work together quite effectively. Um, I, I, I'm going to throw a link to this website down below. Um, he has a shop on the website. Go take a look at the shop. You can actually buy his books there. They are not cheap books. So this is something that I may have to wait a little bit on. They are almost 60, uh, for the Bible of Cthulhu, it's almost $60. It really is. Um, I would love to get my hands on it as soon as possible, but uh, I'm, it's probably I'm going to have to wait a little bit on it. I do have a few things in the works already, and uh, I hope he can get some of his Cthulhu idols and pendants back up and running because he's got them out of stock right now and they look like some really cool artworks. But uh, I'm not too worried about them because you can actually go on to Etsy and find all sorts of really cool stuff. What's more important is he's got these uh, books that are available and I suggest everybody go to the website, I'm going to throw the link down below again and uh, go to his shop section to find these books and if you have enough money if you feel so inclined go ahead and pick up uh, one of his uh, books and read through it uh, and if you feel again so inclined uh, support him by picking up some of his other stuff that he has there he has some t-shirts he has some um, support the website stuff, uh, Patreon certificates, uh, an ambassador certificate, and a keep the website running uh, certificate type thing for a month. Uh, he obviously pays for this, and this this is this is really really cool on how he does this. Uh, so again, I don't know who Winter is, but this cult of Cthulhu. The official Cult of Cthulhu. I've been reading through their stuff, and uh, I'm, it, it's really interesting. He's got a Miskatonic University section up. I love how he's using the lore of Lovecraft to formulate his religion and keep it a bit tongue-in-cheek um, while still being very serious about their approach to things. This is very much so in the same vein as Anton LaVey did when he first started up Satanism. Um, you don't know whether it's real or not, and you don't really care. And, you know, in the end, you know, it's just one of those things. And I suggest people go read the, uh, fact, the FAQ section. He's got some really cool stuff. One thing I really do like is he states that before you even join the organization, uh, he really encourages you to read his Bible of Cthulhu so you understand where the organization is coming from, where, you, where he is coming from. This is something that I don't see in a lot of satanic organizations anymore. Some of them will state that they prefer you to read Anton LaVey's Satanic Bible, but a lot of them, they're just like, oh yeah, we're free to join, and they let just anybody in. He makes it where, buy my book first, then come talk to me. And I like that. That actually makes sense. That way you are automatically, when you go into it, 
you automatically are on the same page as him. And you can understand where he's coming from, where the organization is coming from. And they have a forum section up where a bunch of different members are, and they are active. I actually skimmed through the forums. They are a very active forum. Um, there is a number of members there. Um, they're not just a one-man show. Apparently, these guys, they showed up last year on Facebook and whatnot, and they've been... Uh, building themselves up and yeah so again I'm going to throw a link down this is the official Cult of Cthulhu um, which is a subcategory Cthulhuanism is a subcategory of Satanism they do not call themselves Satanists they're Cthulhu cultists whatever you want to call them um, but that is what they are and just like the Setians, they don't call themselves Satanists. Luciferians, I don't think they... They don't mind being called Satanists. But Setians, they don't like being called Satanists. But that's exactly what they are. From the looks of this, this is very similar. Um, they're Cthulians, and they don't really have any tie to Anton LaVey. Um, they don't even require you to read Anton LaVey's works. Their works are literally based on the writings of H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, some of them actually view H.P. Lovecraft as a prophet of Cthulhu, um, because we all know that Lovecraft wrote his stories based on his nightmares and his dreams, much in the same way that Stephen King does or Wes Craven did. Um, and they believe that Cthulhu was speaking to him. Uh, through his dreams. That's the, obviously, the theistic side of it. And uh, it's just really, really interesting on how they approach it, and I really do approve of it. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I have every intention of buying their books when I have enough time and money to sit down and read through them. I've got a whole host of books that I still need to sit down and read through. But, who knows? Um, Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I have prattled on long enough about this group. Uh, really cool group. Go check them out. Awesome, awesome uh, website. And yeah. So until next time, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Is this something that you find interesting? What is your uh, intro? Uh, what do you think? of the Lovecraft mythos being converted into an actual religious uh, lore. I personally don't have a problem with it. Um, Cthulhuanism has been around for quite a while, um, but it's only just recently, in the past decade or so, really started picking up speed um, because of the internet has really made it viable. Um, yeah, until next time. Like, share, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you later. I'm Lucifer Lakeborn, YouTube's favorite ranting Satanist, and I'm out of here.